Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. I am Dreaded Entity. Uh, real quick before we begin, guys, uh, my voice was super bassy in the last episode, uh, and that's because uh, I thought uh, the regular position where I keep my microphone was a lot closer than it usually is. So uh, sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, it was it was a lot less bassy in the edit. So if you didn't even notice, then I guess that means I uh, did. Pretty good job as an editor. Anyway, this is going to be the first 0.5 episode for series. And what I was trying to say in the last video about the 0.5 is not that the, the, the content or the work that needs to be done in this episode is, uh, not, is, is not important and it doesn't bring us closer to the end of the game, but it's uh, it's like a minor thing. Uh, it's things that we've already done before, like setting up ore veins. I mean, I literally I already showed setting up gold and and the nickel vein. Uh, I think I've actually showed setting up two nickel veins. So this is going to be the third one that we've had to do uh, in this series. Um, and yeah, and so that's basically what the goal is going to be for the video today is setting us up with more gold, setting us up with more nickel. Uh, also, I found a scan while I was in the uh, uh, poisonous cavern last time. I can't remember what the actual name is right now, but uh, let's see what we got here. There we go. Toxic cavern. There we go. Awesome. That kind of reminds me too. Um, I want to place a an advanced teleporter down there. So let's ride our lift. All right, so we're almost here at the bottom. There we go. And we're here. Finally. Um, now, there is something that I wanted to do here, which is put down my, my advanced teleporter. Like I said, that's going to immediately suck up all the power out of there. And it's going to be quite a while until we get more. But there we go. Let's set our name and spell it right. Toxic Cavern. Now, something interesting in this place. Um, hopefully I can find it relatively quickly. What is... what is that? Why is there a... There's already a 3x3 three three here. Oh, for biomass. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's for biomass. Where's the... Where's the miner, though? Oh, the miner is right there. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> I somehow have totally forgotten about that. Um. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to show is I found a, a really, really nice gold vein down here. I think it was over here. Let's check this titanium really quickly. 28,000? I, I think that rings a bell. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. It's a little dark down here. Too scary. Too, too scary for me. Let's get some torches down. Alright. Uh, is this? No. I, I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think this is the one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Four million, guys. Four million. That... That is what we call plenty. Um, okay, so... I need to prep the area here. How does the lift work? Uh, let's say... We want to put down our ore extractor, right? We really only need one, to be honest with you. This needs to get power from somewhere. Um, I guess we can do power from the top. We'll probably be fine. Let's do power from the top. And right here is where our cutting heads will be inserted in this logistics hopper right next to it. And right here, 
Let's do six storage hoppers. And what's gonna happen is these are gonna, you know, like balance amongst themselves. Alright. Um, what's going on here? Why <laughs> why can't I see anything now? It's really dark. Oh, it's because my my central power hub, my, my central power hub got broken. That's why you can't see anything. Actually, that actually explains so much about why it just suddenly goes dark sometimes. Oh, well, now we know. Anyway, so this is what you do with the lift, right? So if you look at the top, right below where it says Toxic Caverns, I've got my coordinates here. So this block right here that I'm standing on is negative 600 or 600 meters down, which which isn't really what I'm what I'm caring about right now. What I really care about is the X and the Z coordinates. So we got negative 10 and 51. And uh, if I remember right, I think you can do chords. Yeah, there we go. You can also do chords in the chat or chords. Sorry. And that'll save those for later reference. And I, I think I've even shown this before how to do this. But uh, just in case you've maybe missed that. Are we good here? And uh, we can only go to the toxic caverns. Oh wow, this power transfers. Really bad. Alright, that's... That is a lot better now. I guess I had forgotten to put a lens in there. Okay, well anyway, let me go up to the top. And uh, I'm just gonna make a cut and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back up at the top and uh, where I actually wanted to go was down one one level right here and let's reference our coordinates uh, enter so negative 10 on the X and then 51 on the Z did that say negative 10 so this way here's a negative 10 is about there and then we have to go 51 all right let's because I know there's a long tunnel over here 51 right there and then, okay. Uh, you know what? I like that. I like that a lot. The room that I dug out here was was actually pretty big. Okay. So fifty one, and then I'm basically just gonna dig into until I get to negative ten and and clear out a room. So if you're not missing anything. I'll cut and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleared out a little room here, and just for reference, um, here is 10, negative 51, right here in the center. Oh no. Okay, it's, uh, it dug it one, one block out to the side, a little extra. Alright, alright, now it's, <laughs> now it's better. Um, okay, so basically it just copies that little room down there. And uh, notice how this belt is empty, uh, because I, I think this is where the nickel used to come in. Yeah. Anyway, it's we're, we're out of nickel, so none of that yet. Uh, but we're going to bring up our new gold from right here using a lift. And uh, so let's go back down to the Toxic Caverns and, and see how that's going to work. So I'm back in the Toxic Cavern now, and the way we're going to dig up there is just by grabbing this auto excavator from here. Uh, and we can even take back this, uh, this laser energy transmitter. And uh, I got really lucky because I found a couple more um, up in the factory. Th these require the materials that we need to get right now to make. So I was really lucky that I had a few. And uh, otherwise, this <laughs> we would have had a problem here. Now the, the way, let's see. I need to, I need to get power over here. So, let's see, what's probably the easiest way? We'll just build over. What if I if I go up? Over. 
and then I can't, I probably can't. Well, actually, if I dig through the stone, I might be able to go, oh no, because we're going to do, oh yeah, well, there's, there's gold here in the way anyway. All right, I was thinking that maybe we could go in horizontally, but uh, it doesn't look like that's, that's going to be an option for us. So, uh, first thing, let's check our auto excavator. It looks like I already had one. Let's, oh, there we go. And then I even have it on my hotbar already, too. All right, cool. So, we're going to stick the auto excavator right here. And we, we really don't need to check it up top. Um, I mean, we are, we like, we literally looked at the coordinates already, so I feel pretty confident about this placement. So I'm gonna go ahead and not, uh, and not worry about it, basically. Uh, another coordinate that I wanna take, though, is where this excavator is. So let's grab that. Negative 1351. Now, let's see. Where are my building blocks? Okay, well, you know what? I, I don't even like to use the building blocks anyway because it uh, uses up my, my construction paste. And, uh, you know, we're running low on construction paste, so I want to run out by accident. That would be a shame. What, what block do I have a lot of? Rough hewn? Okay, let's grab rough hewn. guy up and so basically here's what here's what we want to do okay we'll go up a couple let's go a couple more yeah that works and let's see if I can get on the edge here without falling off there we go perfect shoot a laser that way now And take some damage, yeah. So now we want to go to... What did we say? Negative 13. Okay. So negative 13. Are we even... Are you kidding me? I didn't even go high enough. I guess it's just one block. Um. Oh, you know what? Okay, that's actually kind of epic. Because now I don't have to build. I can just do that. That actually worked out really well. Okay, let's see. No way. That's not. Oh, dude. Is that really 64 blocks? What the? Is it really? Come on, man. All right. That. That hurts. Wow. That feels bad. Build up a little bridge here. There we go. Go down. Yeah, honestly, we can even just leave that. I don't even have to do anything about it. Okay, that should have connected now, right? Yeah, it looks like it connected, but we're not connected over here on this pillar, so... There we go. Yeah, that's a little better. Let's see if we can complete the look here. Uh-oh. Maybe let's grab some power out of this, this battery here. Oh, well, anyway. There we go. Now we just... Yeah, that just makes it makes it make sense. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. So we actually don't... Oh, we don't even... Yeah, we don't even want that to get power, actually. Uh, okay. Did it actually mine anything? Yeah, it did. Ah, great. Oh, well, that's fine. It's just a little bit. So we actually wanted to power that. And... That's just gonna... It's just gonna start shooting. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, there we go. Um, all right, there's there's gold. Uh, all, we, all we have to do now is just wait for it to finish, and then we go back up top and we build in our lift and basically hook up the lift back to the extracting station setup kind of thing. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that was only half of what we wanted to do here, so... Let's go back to the surface and see if we can find some nickel and go from there. Okay, so as we go out to find nickel, um, there are there, there are a couple ways we go about this, and some are a lot worse than others. 
Um, first thing we can do is we can ping Nonor. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that now. And we can see it's showing us a lot of stuff around here. Uh, but the problem is it's, it's all this purple. So you can't tell what it is. Uh, aside from reading the screen, it gives you like a little breakdown. But you, you really don't know until you go and actually dig out the ore. Uh, another thing you can do is you can ping color ore. So let's do that one. And there we go. So now we're seeing the purples. We're seeing greens. There's a blue one right there. And this is telling us what color we're actually, or what ore we're actually scanning when we scan. I think the purple is coal. Otherwise, that's leftover from from the first scan uh the green i think is copper and the blue i believe is tin and uh, all the ores have their own colors so if you know the color you're looking for and you scan in the right place that can tell you um problem is they they cost um power well i'm not sure actually if the the ore pings cost power too but I mean, we're going to see. Uh, but th the issue is that there's too many. <laughs> there, there, there's just way too many. And they all don't matter. All you're really trying to get to is the closest one. So let me show you what I used to do. What I used to do is take these ore pings, and I would just make a couple of each kind and just kind of stash them somewhere. So here I just have a store chopper that's it's not hooked up to anything. And I've just stashed these pings in here. And then, um, <laughs> and then, and then I figured out a better way to do it. Right? Basically, I've got this macerator, and I just drop stuff into it every once in a while when I don't want it. And if you don't know how the macerator works, what, what it does is you, you put stuff in here that you just want to go away. And every once in a while, it will spit out an ore. But what's really cool about that is it's a random type of ore. So, you can see here, I've got, I think I've got every type of, uh every type of ore here. There's copper, tin, iron, lithium, and then the tier twos, gold, um, titanium, and nickel. So yeah, so we got every type of ore here. So I mean, don't even waste your time with the with the ore pings. I guess just keep blank ore pings. And then if you need to, you can always grind up some stuff, save up some ores here, and then you can make those pings if you ever need to. Um, because the, the ore pings, if I open up my self craft, they, they cost uh, a blank and some some of the ore that you're trying to find, right? So there's the iron, copper, tin, even crystal, biomass. I guess th those you can't uh, get out of the macerator, but the I mean they're they're so easy to find once you get to their biomes. So let's see. I uh, think I I did grab those nickel pings, right? No, I didn't. All right. So now we got we got the nickel pings and I'm trying to remember uh yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Uh they need to be in your hot bar to use. So, let's go down to where our previous nickel vein was and we'll start our search there. All right. So we're down here at the old nickel vein well, uh, well there used to be a nickel vein here if you look back at previous videos you will see it um, but there's no nickel vein here now so might as well reclaim a little bit of this machinery and stuff and uh, I kind of figure what what uh, is a better place to start our search than right here so let me find those ore pings again there we go and let's use one. So I'm just gonna hit it. Cost no power. And there's nickel. There's nickel all around. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good size one. Um, I feel like this one is an even better looking size. I don't know, but let's go, let's go over to it. We're kind of lucky actually that <laughs> We're able to get one that's on the very same level because rather than running a new ore line, I might just uh, use mine carts over to it. Two hundred and fifty-five thousand. That's that's not bad. 
255,000 is not bad. Let's see about this one. So if you just line up with it, that's really... Oh, really? I hit titanium on the way to the to the nickel? Oh, no. And it's and it's big. I can't get around it. Okay. That So that can be a problem with the, the focused or pings, I think, sometimes. All right, let's see what the size on this one is. Uh, this one's 300,000. Okay, this one's actually even, even better. So maybe I'll. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll take the effort, the extra effort to um grab the longer. Well, oh, man, what's the, what's the flare button again? Okay, it's just. Okay, it's just so much simpler to go for that vein. So we're gonna go for the smaller vein actually. Yeah, that works. Um, so I'm just gonna like kind of clear this area out a little bit, make it easier to traverse in. Um, oh, and I guess this is <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty far in um, to the episode already to to mention this, but for these point fives guys, I'm really not concerned with how long it is. Um, so I mean, if this goes up to thirty minutes, forty minutes, I I'm not. I don't care super much, um, unlike the, like, the regular, just whole episodes, I, I, I do like to keep those around 20 minutes long, I'm sure you guys have noticed that, but for these point fives, it, it doesn't really matter, because I, I want this to be a lot more informal of, um, of an, of an episode, so, cool, let me clear out some of this, and get over to that vein, and I will rejoin you to continue. Now I'm in the cold caverns because I want to show you how this setup is going to work as I envision it. Um, I want to do the same thing that I did here with the uh, crystal um, setup where I, I already had a mine shaft over there. Can't remember why. Uh, a, a lift, not a mine shaft, sorry. Uh, not exactly sure why, but, uh, beside the point anyway, I needed to get the crystal from here to over there. So, what I, what I decided to do was to make a bunch of rails, and I just kind of spammed bind carts on this thing. And it gave me the throughput that I needed for the, uh, the crystal. Um, actually, am I going straight to crystal clocks? Yeah. Okay, I'm going straight to crystal clocks here. Because I don't think you actually do anything else with crystal. Um, but yeah, this did give me the throughput that I was looking for. I'm not sure if I want to get the throughput with just ore. So, uh, I mean, we'll see. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So, let's... I'm gonna go back up and grab some materials and then uh, we'll build. All right, I made everything that we're gonna need. Uh, I didn't make the, the depot because you really don't need more than one of those. You can just kind of carry it around from from place to place um, and add on my carts wherever you want. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I can see benefits to having one at every like rail loop, but it's you don't need to. Uh, and, we're, and I'm not going to. I'm just going to grab the one that I already have that's in the chilled cavern. But, anyway. You can see everything here. The, the unload station, the load station. I uh, made tracks, corner. And I made ten minecarts. I, I have no idea if that's going to be enough. I mean, they only hold 25. And it, it is kind of a, a, a pretty good distance away. So, <laughs> I guess we're going to see. Yeah, well, uh, let, let's go down there then, and um, hook up, hook up this stuff there. Um, and just just a note for you guys, I'm gonna get the depot in the chilled cavern. All right, guys, so we're here down at the uh, at the uh, new nickel vein, and um, if I remember right, this uh, it uh, it can be a little finicky to get the rails set up. Um, I'm, I'm just realizing that I, I should probably set up all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can kind of build this a little quickly. Uh, okay, so 
we'll we'll deal with power. Um, oh man, uh, really would be nice if I could just shoot power straight straight into this. Uh, okay, let's move that hopper to the side maybe. And you know what? Okay, I, I don't I don't think that's gonna be achievable actually. Uh, okay, so let's just put it there. It'll simplify our job. So here's what we gotta do. Um, here we need the minecart loading station, and I believe it needs to face like that. See, this says which way the rails are going. So can I have it on there like this? This is <laughs> this is what I mean about it being kind of finicky. Okay, so there's that, and we can super build up to here. Let's maybe do a corner right there. Corner there. Put our straight rails here, and then uh, a hopper to an unloading station. I sure hope this is facing the right way. Jeez. Who knows? That's very fast. Oh, well, we're gonna see, aren't we? Okay, so now at this point, we just gotta fill, a, fill in the rest of it. Okay. And I... I don't have enough laser energy transmitters down here. Um, oh, you know what though? You don't actually need one. Yeah, you don't need one. So let's uh, take our depot. And we're going to put our depot down and then our store choppers. And then from here, we can drop in our minecarts. I got 10 of them. And just There we go. So they're going to go now. And this will let me know if it's working. Unload station. That seems to be working. But I want to see what happens here at this loading station cuz this is where it could break really bad. So here they come. I think we're going to be okay, though. Right? And it got trapped. Can't find resources in the attached hoppers. Um, actually, while I'm here... Let's see. There we go. Alright. Do I not have... Why, why do I have so many Minox now? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to check that out, I think. Um, luckily, there's a place I can get plasma cutter heads right here. But uh, I'm out of logistics hoppers, so I need to go back to the surface. And I will return in a second. I'm back from the surface now, and while I was up there, I also grabbed some, some plasma cutter heads so we could get going here with this one. So, how's this gonna work? Um, I'm just gonna put in my magnetic motor and there's a plasma cutter head. And then in here we can drop that one. So that's add and remove, good. Okay. Um, I also got some more laser energy transmitters. We're just gonna have to make it work, I think. So let's see, how can we do this? Can I just steal that laser right there? And it's okay if it's a little inefficient. That's not a big deal. We're not blocking here, right? All right, so I just open up the wall a little bit more. Not as clean as it was before. I really like how 
this, this, there's just a, a wall of ore there. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know <laughs> that I like that, that look already, but, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's get some power in here. Um, now, yeah, okay, I guess I gotta, I got a second to show you guys. This starts kicking off so fast, and it mines so much ore. It's a ridiculous. Like, when this drops, there you go. I got 64. And that was like... That, that was so fast. It was, it was like, I don't know, 20 seconds, something like that. And then, look at that. Okay, there. Yeah, we're almost full now. Oh man, okay. So the throughput is gonna be terrible on this thing. Crap. Yeah, so we're already... We're, we're gonna hit our cap already here. So I need... I need more load stations for sure. Uh, and even this isn't... Even that's not very fast either. Okay, so... Dang, man. Alright, I'm definitely... We, we definitely need to move this lift. Or, or maybe make another one, or, or something, or whatever. The, the rail system is not going to work, uh, so I'm glad we didn't do this for the gold. But at least this is going. So, I mean, now that this is going, we, we can always do an efficiency upgrade <laughs> in another 0.5. Um, yeah, and, and now that it's going, let's check on the gold and see. If there's something we can do here. I don't know, man. Maybe there's... Maybe maybe this is ready now. You guys remember, all the way back to the beginning, we were waiting on this excavator, and it appears to be done now. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Well, excavator's done. So, there we go. Let's put the ore extractor back. I don't have... Oh, no, no, no. Let's... Um, yeah, let's... Let's actually... Do you want to put the ore extractor... Do I have... I don't know. I don't want... I don't want the Falcor to drop off into the storage hopper, though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see if that's an issue. I, it might not be. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's wishful thinking. <laughs> maybe I'm just being hopeful. There's a dead body. <laughs> One of my dead bodies. Why are there no um? Why are no plasma heads getting down here? Oh look, there's another of my dead bodies. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Tox Cavern. Super dangerous. Did I miss a matter mover? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I did. I did miss a matter mover. Oh, man. So, I actually need both a power storage block and a matter mover. Both of those things I don't have. So, let's go back to the surface and, and work on work on the lift then. And then we'll come back down here and, and fix that. Okay, so I fixed the issue um, with the, the cutter heads not being uh, moved over to the gold vein. And um, I've just been shuffling the ore up here to the, the previous setup uh, by hand. You can see it's got my inventory is full of, full of these 150 um, stacks. Um, but... We, we need to finish the, uh, the ore shaft here, and there was a slight problem here I noticed. Um, remember before, the auto excavator said it was done, but so, so imagine how surprised I was when I came in this room and found that uh, it, was, it, it, it did not seem to be done, actually. So I dropped one of these guys down to see what was going on, and... Um, that's what I noticed. They have a maximum height. 
So it only goes 512 blocks. Uh, meanwhile, that gold vein is about 600 blocks deep. So I think I'm going to have to do some manual digging here or maybe go underground and I don't know, I guess put, put another auto excavator down. Um, yes, yeah, so, so I guess that'll be a problem for future Dread to figure out. But, um, one, th one other thing that I want to do is tear down this lift controller. You don't need this here anymore. And so, the easiest way that I think we can do that is we just block up this hole, because the lift isn't going to go down it anymore. And we can take the lift out. How do you take the lift out? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure how we can take the lift out. But there we go. Let's just... Okay, got the lift. Did I get the... There it is. The lift controller? I did. So... Now we can tear this lift controller down. And these rails... Did I get them all? Or did one fall? I, dude, I think one fell. Oh, crap. Now I fell. Great. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, gotta get it. Holy crap, I'm going fast. Okay, alright. Okay. I caught... <laughs> I caught, um... Ourselves. Alright, yeah. So here's where the old... gold um used to be I guess so yeah and I don't really remember why did it um where's where's this power coming from oh you know what yeah I guess at, at some point there used to be power going here well anyway I guess I can reclaim this stuff here. Okay, and I should have gotten that last controller at some point, and I did. Awesome. Okay, well, let's let's go back up. Actually, before we even go back up, uh, I just want to show you guys. I, I've significantly improved the throughput of this rail system that we set up earlier. Um, I just tripled the, the loading and unloading. And um, this actually kind of seems to have done it. So, I mean, given that, I, I'm, I'm really thinking now that... It, it, see, it, it, because it, it really benefits you if you could reuse the, the lift shaft. Because you can't stand on these rails, so they're really hard to reclaim, and they take forever to craft. And to think that I have to go almost 600 blocks down. I mean, I've got... I've got already um, 500 rails. I mean, I need another... I need an another, another 500 and then even more on top of that. So, I might actually want to set up another rail system like this. Um, but I, I don't know. Let me think about it. And, um, yeah, and I'll, sh and I'll show you what I've done. So, pretty much immediately after I recorded that last clip, I decided that, well, you know what, why, why not use rails? Uh, because especially with the uh, upgraded, um, like, loading and unloading, it seemed to take out uh, pretty much as much ore as I can get in the time it takes the lift to go up and down. So, I went ahead and just whipped up another rail system down here. And as you can see, I'm feeding minecarts into it. Now, something you do have to be aware of, though, is um, since this is a longer track, uh, I, I thought that it would require more minecarts. So I put 10 um, in the nickel vein. Here I've got 15 because this is a considerably longer way that it has to go. Um, and this is all being routed right to here.
to another ore excavator, uh, auto excavator, sorry. And see, because it's like, the more that I thought about it, it's like everything has been set up in the game to, to reuse a mine shaft that you've already dug, right? Because it's really difficult to, to get your rails back. Um, and then the auto excavator, it, it doesn't even have infinite range. It, it won't reach all the way to the surface. So you can't just go and make a new mine shaft wherever you want. But you can put this down lower and reconnect up to the existing mine shaft, which is what we're going to do now. Eventually, one day, this thing should be done. <laughs> and, um, and then from there, um, the gold is all connected already. So, yeah, um, there we go. We've, we've gotten our gold and our nickel back. That is what we wanted. So we should be at uh, full production capability again. Okay, and I was wondering why the auto excavator wasn't doing anything <laughs> anymore, and it's because we have already actually connected up to the mine shaft. So, um, actually, while I'm here, might, might as well reclaim these two laser energy transmitters. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go get my auto excavator, and then we will finish. Um, this mine shaft with its extended range and then we're we're done okay here it comes first load of gold ore well that was pretty anticlimactic <laughs> uh, but anyway I noticed we have another problem this little tunnel here used to lead to my titanium ore shaft. And notice how there's no titanium on this belt. So that's an issue. And um, might as well roll right on into that. See if we need to um, maybe find a new titanium vein. I don't even know at this point. Well, I came down here to where the titanium vein used to be, and, um, yeah, it's, it's gone. Uh, luckily, I, I think I know about a giant titanium vein in the Toxic Cavern, I, I think. Either way, all of this is useless now, so we can tear this down. And I can even tear down like all of the the, the like wiring up to here. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me go find a new titanium vein and and uh, I will reconnect with you then. Well, guys, there there are a lot of little veins of titanium down here. I've already went through and scanned pretty much all of them. I've put down a lot of torches. And there's one decent sized vein. Uh, I don't even, <laughs> can't even remember where it is right now. Oh, I think it's over this way. Um, it's like 115,000, which is like, it's okay, but it's not like this is going to be the one vein for the rest of the game that I'm really looking for. So I'm going to keep looking. And I'm gonna see if we can find a, a better vein somewhere. I, I, it's it's a, of course it's gonna be higher up um, if it's not here in the toxic cavern where it's easy to to run around. Um, I might even have to dig it out. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, let's go find one. All right, I literally just found this one. It's two hundred and sixty-nine thousand. Um. Uh, that's that's probably good enough at least it'll, it'll be good enough that I won't have to worry about it for a long time so It's if it, it's kind of funny because it's literally it's just like uh, I did a, a colored or ping and I just um, Basically just looked around for the biggest thing that I could find and 
it just dug straight to it right off of the lift so like here's the lift is just right there and then down there's the titanium so okay cool now I gotta build uh, all the all the supporting stuff I guess <laughs> so I'm done now incorporating this titanium vein and let me show you what I did so uh, this one's actually considerably cleaner than other setups I recently discovered this recessed torch in the ceiling look and uh, really like it so probably gonna build future tunnels this way uh, as you can see here I've got the same rail set up as usual and uh, actually got pretty lucky this one is not very long of a run and here you can see the lift um, is there you know what let me open this up just a little bit just so I can run back here if I need to and I don't think I will but just in case um, and since this short run excuse me since this like rail run is so short um, I've only put like five minecarts in here I, I didn't bother to put more I, I don't think we're gonna need it so there we go there's our titanium <laughs> and um, with that uh, I, I can't believe it although I also can somewhat believe it that we've had to redo all three of the tier two ores and um, but yeah that's finally done okay and if we look here we can see that we're actually backed up on the gold and the nickel as we see a couple titanium bars come in uh, now it's it's pretty slow because you know, I've only got the, the basic ore smelters with no tops. Um, the top, if you remember, it multiplies how fast they smelt. I have elected uh, not to place those um, because I'm actually kind of thinking that I might need to come up with some sort of solution to actually decouple the, the smelting from the lift um, altogether now that I think about it. So I don't know. I might have to think about more. Think more about what what exactly that looks like. Um, and if you guys have any ideas about that, uh, just leave it for me in a comment. And if I like it, then I'll probably end up doing it in uh, in a future half episode. You know what, guys? I was gonna end the episode right there with. Uh, us finishing our tier two ores but then I was like you know what there's one last thing that I want to do and I've been putting it off for far too long and it's time to get it done and that is making my jetpack so you guys might remember I've had these these uh, refinery parts sitting in my inventory for a very long time ever since we initially set up the um, the, the farm oh boy did I just mess up no okay <laughs> I thought I just ruined my my, my uh, block. Uh, ever since I set up my um, uh, liquid resin farm, and okay, there we go. No, this should have power. We want to make plastic pellets. So um, let's look at the recipe real quick for the jetpack, just to make sure you guys are refreshed on this. I, I of course know exactly what I need <laughs> because uh, I was just looking at it off camera. Um, let's see. There it's, uh, no, it's not Arthur upgrades. Where's, oh, here. So, jetpack. We need, um, oh, man. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I have this. Uh, I just need to go grab them. And we need 128 plastic pellets. Those take four biomass each. And we need 44 more high energy composite fuel. I've already done the math. And I've got enough biomass in my inventory. Actually, if I look here at F7, you can see I've got 600. I only needed, like, something like 550. Um, it's about to go get the steel bars, but but I should probably get the plastic pellet stuff started first. So... Will it work if I just do it like that? Let's make this one... That only. And these guys can be removed only. So I wanna see. It's been a while since I played with these things. Does it work like that? Okay. It does seem to work that way. Why does it say it's only connected to one 
Oh no, now it says they're not connected. Okay. So... Then if I break you, you wouldn't have a problem with that then, right? So let's break that one, and let's reconnect it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... So I just need to break one block from both of those. And the problem is, if you build it from the top down, then they don't connect. Alright. Oh, wow, that's, that's actually a lot faster than it was before. <laughs> and I've already scoured the base and I did not find any plastic pellets laying around. Um, sometimes I've I've made things previously and kind of stashed them somewhere. But I did not find any. Alright, so our steel bars were made somewhere around here. No. What about Crystal clocks. Let's see. We're out of nickel already, huh? This is it, right? Steel alloy smelter, yep. That's it. Okay, so... Great. Um... Well, we're out of clocks. Well, anyway, just to be safe, let's... Let's turn that. Let's turn that one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. That takes two. Two low-grade steel bar each. Alright, so we are bottlenecked with... Nickel, and I bet... I bet the nickel is stuck. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, actually, I guess now we're... We're bottlenecked on titanium. Hold on, let me let me go inside the Let me go inside the the, the bus and see what's going on here. Alright, we're inside. And there is no nickel in sight. So I, I think this is just an issue of not having Oh no. Wait a minute. Ah It was not just an issue of of that. At some point I've actually removed this. So it could not continue. But look at that. Alright. So we're we're gonna have steel bars um sooner than I thought, actually. Oh, I missed. Of course. What? I missed again. Let's check up on our pellets. Get 25. Why is it not using Alright, well, I might have to sit here and, and make this manually then, in that case. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Guys, I'm even luckier than I thought, because somehow I had <laughs> exactly the amount of bio biomass that I needed to make uh, the fuel and the pellets. Um, so basically, I've got everything we need. And I'm going to make the jetpack now. There it is. We made it. We have made it but where is it there it is okay cool now we got it now we activate it with j look at that look at that look at that we are flying now we're flying now guys um so we can activate and deactivate that with j now um at an actual uh extreme bit of bad luck here i just found out that i have a gigantic problem here at the base and um, I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna let this next couple of seconds play out um, and you guys can see what the problem is and it is it is a massive problem so here we go oof oh boy Okay, well, that's where I'm going to end the episode here for today. I hope you guys learned something. I um, hope you guys saw that the rails can actually be super useful, even in the late game. Um, uh, actually, I guess we're not, we're not even super late game yet. 
Um, and yeah, that really sucks about the uh, hive mind that we had wrangled. We, we had it wrangled, but um, as you can tell, it's it's been a few hours of gameplay um, over here in in Dread World. That's what this that's what the save's called. So um, next episode, we're gonna have a great one. <laughs> I'm gonna have a really great next episode for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys like the video if you liked the video. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you're somehow not subscribed at this point. I, I don't know how, but if you're not, subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications on new videos. Because you gotta be enjoying the series if you've been this far in. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.